Hey guys, Sean again, Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on the YouTube. Got another one of these vehicle spotlights for you. It's 2014 Toyota Tundra. Did a 7 inch BDS on this thing, some 22s and some 35s. Let's go. So like I said, we got a 2014 Tundra. This one's gonna have the seven inch BDS. We're working with Holiday on another one of these builds and they just wanted to go more extreme than the four inch we did last time. So we brought this thing up four inch, uh, four inch, seven inches up in the air. And then for wheels and tires, it's gonna be the uh, 22 by 10, negative 18 fuel assault. So it's gonna be the fuel assault again, but this time in a 22. And I will show you what that lip looks like. And as you remember, when it's not a lip wheel, we kind of just come in here and measure the concavity, how much that thing is pushed in. So I usually try to, you know, get a feel for where that center is and then bring it out and look at where that wheel comes out. And that's going to be probably about five inches. I would say that this distance here to here is about five inches of concavity that that thing is pushed in. So super aggressive wheel. As you remember, that fuel salt basically comes out past the tire. Even on this 10 wide, 12 and a half, it's a little bit past the sidewall of the tire. I would say down here, if you look where you got the pressure on it, the tire is coming out, so you have some protection, but she's still pretty aggressive as far as the setup. And that's gonna be the matte finish with the machined edges, which really complements a little bit of chrome that we did leave on the vehicle. And then for tires, it's the 35, 12 and a half Nitto Ridge Grappler. So this is gonna be a really strong tire. This is gonna be their new, uh, Hybrid, which is also a uh, 12 ply rated tire. I want to make sure I'm saying that right, Mario. Yes, that's a 12 ply rated tire. And uh, it's going to be still good on the highway, still good in the mud. It's going to be the best all around, really. So, as far as fitment on that, Mario, if you come take a peek up front here, all we had to do is this liner used to wrap around. So, we took off the bottom of the liner, notched out a little bit, and then tucked the liner up in there just to push it away from where that turning radius is. In the back, what you always have with the Tundras are these body mounts, the cab mounts, start to cause trouble. But with that seven inch lift, we're up high enough that you have clearance for days. So, there was no uh, mod back there. And then in the back, you'll see the upgraded BDS 2.0 uh, Fox Shocks. So, Fox Shocks upgrade. And then I believe that's the five inch block. So you'll see that it's got just a touch of rake, almost perfectly level on this one from what I can see. Now we'll start front to back, show you some of the other little uh, goodies that we threw on here. You'll see we got the 30 inch black label light bar in there. So that's gonna be the full RGB color change. We've just got it set at white right now, but that'll do all the different patterns and the color change, whatnot. And it really fits perfect inside of there. We've just got some special feet that we use and it tucks right inside of there. And all of that light's still coming through. So it really works perfect. Then what we did is we had our vinyl guy come around and he wrapped this entire surround that used to be uh, chrome in black. We wrapped the bumper ends in black. And then we kept going to the rear of the vehicle and wrapped all of this chrome, the entire bumper in black. So we really just blacked out the chrome, except for those side steps, the emblems throughout the vehicle. And then of course your decals on the back, the TRD off-road decals, those are still gonna match with the chrome. So it just kinda, kinda gives your eyes something to focus on. It's a charcoal truck with black accents and then that little touch of chrome throughout. And then up here we did the window tint to match the factory. So 20% up front to match the factory. And inside, this thing's only got like 18,000 miles on it. So it's got a super clean interior. Pop 
pop that back door open. And it's got a ton of room in the back also. So it's a really clean truck. I think that pretty well, oh, taillights. So you see the taillights are also tinted and then tinted the third brake light. We just wanted to get rid of any other color on the truck and really black this thing out with that black and charcoal look. So we're pretty pumped about it. Turned out freaking awesome. Super excited to see what they think of it. And this is gonna be another one. I know that um, I believe all of the previous ones we've built sold already. So they only last a week or two. If you're interested, you wanna get a hold of Holiday and uh, see what they got for a price on it. But we'll also try to put the link above or below in the description so you guys can go check it out. Appreciate you coming, checking out. Appreciate you guys subscribe. Appreciate all the support we've been getting all around. We're definitely having a blast out here and hope you guys are too. Peace.